going to be showing you guys now that we have the front bumper off of the R34 as you can see we're gonna be swapping to the big brakes Brembo's from the R35 GTR so once we have that off we're gonna be uh, taking the wheels off and then we're gonna be swapping over to the R35 big brakes in the front and then we're gonna drop that side and then get the rear up and then uh, put those on so we'll show you guys everything you need to know and then after this video make sure you guys check it out because we are gonna be describing every part every piece and everything you need to know if you would plan on doing this to your R32, R33, or your R34 GTR. All right, so we are taking off the front wheel here. So we are getting off most of the lugs off of this and uh, special wheel lock tool. Yeah, these are some BBSs. Um, you don't wanna use these on the impact because they will break. It's a very thin aluminum. So we use our little big torque, <sighs> torque wrench. Same thing for the other next side, and then we'll check back in. And pull that off. Okay. And these are the R34 Brembo's stock. Uh, this is gonna come off now. This is the Nismo r suspension. Um, super rare. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty legit. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off here and then we'll go ahead and uh, check back in. So we got the right front off and as you can see, the Nismo r suspension, that's the part number, you guys are wondering. And uh, now to the next part, you're gonna go ahead and take these two big bolts off on the back here. Just like a normal brake job, take this big one off and then this big one off here. Then we're gonna have to put on a conversion bracket and that's gonna help keep the R35 brakes fit on this right. car. So uh, this is a 22 millimeter bolt uh, in the rear. So we're gonna knock both of those loose and then uh, it should be easy off. Battery. <laughs> have two ready to go. Ammunition, baby. Get that locked and loaded. Round two. Boom. Here. Probably won't move, but if we could unloosen it. Yeah, I mean, we're going to need to take that out anyway. So it's a 10. So we're taking off this little, it's actually it's 12. 12? Okay. Yeah. So as you can see guys, this bolt right here is a 12. And then that's gonna get out of the way so we can get this big bolt off. It wouldn't be able to move anyway without taking that off. So here's your little 12 bolt. Now this shouldn't be able to move. Ever so slightly, unless there's one more bolt. Mm, no. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, there's a second bolt right here that we're gonna take off. And that's gonna help move this line right here without having to disconnect, without having to disconnect it. So he's getting that off right now, as you can see. That's coming off right there. Okay. So it goes to that. 
Oh, no, I got it on. It's on now? Yep. Alright, cool. Okay. Cool. Alright, we're not experts, but what we've did um, is you see how these little pistons here? You have to compress them. So what we did was we took a little flathead, right? And tell me if there's a better way. But we stuck it in between the brake pad and the rotor and pried right here a little bit. And then that gave us enough room. So give me, shake the choice a little bit, Mike. Now it's coming off and uh, it should be off now. Now we ran into a little issue when trying to take off the caliper to the R34 Brembo. We had to cut it because it was stripped. stripped. Go get the stripped uh, end piece, bro. Now, that means we're gonna have to take this out here and replace this whole line. Unfortunately, um, I think we did have an extra set from our old uh, Brembo's. Um, now, this one's also stripped, as you can see. So we're not gonna be able to use this one. I think that's the one we need. I don't see the piece. It is. All right, so guys, giving you just a little update. So we took this off from the old one. Um, as you can have. see, this is the one that we had to cut the line. Luckily, we had that other one, but the downside is we had to use the one with the fucked up end. Um, we're gonna see if we can get this to work and tighten down. So we are going to the right front and putting the right rotor on. Okay, all right, and then the hard part, getting this on, these two bolts, not too bad. It's not too bad, but definitely requires two people, so. Um, go ahead and grab that, pop it on, and then while he holds it right here, I need to go in the back and start screwing in the bolts. So don't let that rotor fall. All right, guys. So we just got done putting the uh, brand new rotors on. Um, now, what's really cool about this little bracket? Everything your old lines they line up. And as you can see, everything good to go. Um, this little conversion bracket right here works perfect. Everything lines up and she is so huge, dude. Look how big that brake is and brake caliper. All right guys, so we just got done bleeding the brakes and we have the new rotors and calipers on the R34. So um, just lowered the front down. We're gonna go ahead and start jacking up the rear um, in order to do that, we're going to take off the rear diffuser so we can jack up from the rear diff. Makes it real easy. But there you go. Look at that. Look at that clearance. That is huge. There's like no room to spare. But it fits. So look at that, man. It's so, so sick. All right, guys. Now that we have the uh, rear diffuser off, we're going to go ahead and jack it up from the, the rear um, diff and go ahead and jack this thing up. All right, well, as you can see, right there, we're jacking up from. Alrighty guys, so we are on to the back rear rotor. And uh, as you can see why it's so wet here is because I had to use our handy dandy WD-40. It dripped down enough and got a lot of this rust, you know, you needed, you needed a 17 millimeter to get the Brembo off. You need a 12 millimeter to get the bolts that hold the, uh, the actual the bracket. bracket. Yeah, so 12 millimeter to get those bolts out and uh, 17 on those. So now we got the new one. Now for this conversion, we do not have the e-brake adapter. Um, you we can do. either... We, it's on order from JDM Auto Link. So make sure you guys give them a like. They're the only people that have... The e-brake adapter so that you, you see, can buy separate. You see this right here? This is the new rotor. It's different. As you can see, the, the e-brake right here is a little bit too big. So you get this little adapter. Fits about a three millimeter thickness in here. And it makes it the same size that would fit around this e-brake. So uh, that's all you need. It's just a little piece of metal that goes around it. Otherwise, our e-brake's not going to work right now, which is fine. Um, right now, the car's not moving without an e-brake anyway. So, I mean, we're good. We're okay. Yeah. So we're so, going to go ahead and, uh, what we're going to do is right now we're going to take off the old brackets. When we bought these, uh, they had, 
um, some brackets cut it. there. And I guess they cut it, it's a little easier, I guess. So we're gonna take these old one off and then we'll go ahead and uh, get it updated. And then you go ahead and put the rotor on and then we're gonna mount the caliber right here and drill in the two holes for the bracket. All right guys, so got this nice hammer. I have no clue what it's called because my dad got it for me, YOLO. But uh, nice and lightweight. Um, what you do is you spray the WD-40 into each, each little hole up here and then you spray it up around the middle. And when the force of the WD-40 goes in and then you spray it maybe a little bit in the back, um, just up around this little outer part. But uh, then you just take your hammer, right? And you smack it a couple times on the top. You smack it again on the bottom. Hard, and like. hard, like. And then it cracks it loose. So now, if you have to do that, you know, you can just keep going up and around, up and around, and it'll just keep banging it loose until you start to feel it wiggle. And then after that, boom, that's your e-brake. Um, so you'll need the conversion rear part for the e-brake to work. Otherwise, you'll need an adapter. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get our adapters bolted on and get this baby back finished. up and finished. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for checking this out. This is the finished product. We have them bolted on to the LMGT4s, 10.5s. Uh, these are from the CBA 2009-2011 380 millimeter rotors. Um, so these are about the best that you're going to get clearance wise. Um, I did hear that you can run the 390 rotors or the newer styles. You might have to shave a little bit off the top of the calipers. So they about, hit. I think about five millimeters, um, depending on the brackets that you get in the conversion. But, um, this is the easiest way to do it. Get the older style, uh, almost perfect, easiest method. This is the front, and uh, as you, you can see, it's a little bigger. You just see that clearance. I mean, it has just enough. These are the only size 18s that you can get that will clear the LMGT4s. It's a fit. forged wheel. Um, I mean, you have about... Less than a fingertip. Yep. So, um, so what we're going to talk about here real quick in a nutshell is you have a couple different options as far as the conversion brackets. We will list all of them below. Uh, the JDM Auto Link uh, are probably the number one easiest if you want the e-brake, um, if you want to save the money the most. Uh, the next option would probably be the SuperTech, who have the different rotor hats. Uh, so when you're looking at rotors, uh, you don't have to buy the rotors with the hats. You can get theirs in their kit. These are the OEM rotors uh, hats. So we got those off of the regular GTR. And finally, uh, my buddy CW Unit, uh, who is out in Canada, has a bracket, which uh, is almost identical to the uh, ones that JDM Autolink use. Uh, so keep in mind that everyone, uh, I can't set pricing, but the links will be in below. Make sure you guys slap a like. We're going to show you guys if you have any questions on how to upgrade these rotors uh, to big brakes um, with the OEM R35 GTR Brembos, hit us up. We are more than happy to assist and help you out. And if you want us to do it and you're local to Pennsylvania, we can even do it for you. So uh, thank you so much. This is Suddeth1 and Suddeth2. Signing out.